Okay, lesson 11.2, health insurance benefits. Your objective is to calculate the amount the patient pays for health care. Uh, a deductible is the amount of money you must pay each year before, you, before your insurance company starts paying. And coinsurance requires you to pay either a set amount or a certain percent of medical expenses. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go to the next slide. Push pause if you need to. Uh, rewind at any time if needed. Okay, moving right along. A copayment is a predetermined flat fee that you pay for healthcare services. And your formula that you're going to be using during this section is amount paid by patient equals your deductible plus copayments plus coinsurance amount plus hospital charges. Okay, press pause to get this down and resume when ready. Okay, here we go. All right, before you is a uh, health care benefits schedule. Uh, notice there's network and non-network as well as uh, single and family deductible. You have hospital charges, what percent you pay of those co-insurance payments, retail pharmacy, and mail order pharmacy. And notice the difference between retail and mail order. Uh, mail order you get a 90 day supply. Okay. Uh, both have generic and name brand. There is also an ER uh, visit fee and an ambulance fee. All of these are on a table on page 421 and you will have to use this table during this lesson. I will be referring to it quite frequently. Okay? All right. So, Brooke is single and has a health insurance plan with the benefits shown in figure 11-1. After meeting her $1,000 deductible, her recent network health care costs include co-payments for eight physician visits, nine specialist visits, Following hospital surgery, she made co-payments for 12 physical therapy visits at $85 each, and she had four co-payments at her local pharmacy. Three were for generic drugs, and one was for a brand name drug. Her hospital admission charge was $200. Her hospital bill was $34,560. What amount did she pay? All right, looking back at your formula, we've got to find the deductible plus the co-payments plus the hospital charges. Well. The first part of that, the deductible, $1,000, okay? So we need to go ahead, put $1,000 right here because she had to pay that. All right, now let's get into the co-payments. Uh, her recent network health care costs include co-payments for eight physician visits. All right, so we take eight physician visits. I look at my table on 421. And in network, physician visits are $20 a piece. So it's going to be 8 times 20 plus, okay, and what I'm going to do, is as I go up on, on the board, do not do it in your book. As I do this on the board, I'm going to mark out everything that we've, that we've covered. 8 physician visits, 9 specialist visits, okay, specialist visits in the book show that they are $30 a piece. Plus, following hospital surgery, she made co-payments for 12 physical therapy visits at 85. Okay, 12 physical therapy at $85 a piece. But if you look in your book at the table, they're only charged 20% of the physical therapy cost. Okay, so we've got to find the full amount and then 20% of that. So times 0.2, and that number's straight from the table. All right, continue to add uh, 12 physical therapy. She had four co-payments at her local pharmacy, three for generic drugs. Okay, so three for generic at local pharmacy is $10 a piece, plus one brand name drug at her local pharmacy, which was $20. Okay. Her hospital admission charge was $200. We need to go ahead and put 
put that down, plus her hospital bill was 34560 Now, if you look at your table, there's a section that says hospital charges. Okay? In network, you only have to pay 10% of the hospital charge. Okay? So, it's going to be 34560 times 0.1. All right? Now, I know that's a lot. Add everything together. I'll give you a second. Add everything together, and you should come up with the total amount paid. The total amount paid by this patient is $5,000. $340. Okay? Okay, moving along. Problem number one out of the homework. Using figure 11.1, .1, complete the problems. Determine your network plan costs with the following copayments. Seven physician visits, two specialist visits, 12 physical therapy appointments at $90 each, you also have the following pharmacy charges, two local generics, one local brand name, three mail order generics, and one mail order brand name. You have no hospital charges and no deductible. Pay attention to that. You do not have to add in any deductible or hospital charge, so it's simply co-payments. Okay? Uh, press pause and go ahead and work this out. Press play to resume. Okay, we're back, and let's go ahead and work this. All right, so seven physician visits. Well, seven times 20 plus two times 30 plus 12 physical therapy at $90 each times it's 20% from the table. Okay, plus, you also have the following pharmacy charges, two local generics, so two times 10, plus one local brand name, one local brand name from the table is $20, three mail order generics, so that's going to be three times 25, and one mail order brand name, mail order brand name is $50. Okay, that's everything. Tally those up. You should have come up with the answer of $581. Okay, let's go to problem number two of the homework. And again, I'm going to read it. Go ahead, press pause, work it out, and press play to resume. Okay, to see it worked out. Determine a family's network plan costs. Notice it's a family policy. Network plan costs with the following co-payments. 22 physician visits, 12 specialist visits, 15 physical therapy appointments at $80 each, one ER room visit, plus uh, an ambulance fee. The family also had the following pharmacy charges, nine local generic drugs, four local brand name drugs, six mail order generic drugs, and two mail order brand name drugs. There was also a hospital charge of 9260 The family already met its annual deductible. Okay. Now, word of advice says the family already met its annual deductible. Means that they went ahead and they paid it on this. So, you have to go ahead and charge them they're, they're deductible from the table. Okay, otherwise your answer will work out wrong. Okay, so go ahead, press pause, work this out, and uh, resume to see it work. Okay, let's take a look at this. Okay, so thinking back to our formula, it's deductible plus copayments plus hospital charges. Okay, so our deductible on this one, looking at the table, because it's a family and it's in network, is $3,000. So 
So we've got to go ahead and charge 3,000 for the deductible. Now, uh, let's start with 22 physician visits. Okay, 22 at 20 bucks a piece. That covers your physician visits. Plus 12 specialist visits at $30 a piece. Okay, we got those. 15 physical therapy appointments. All right, so 15 at 80 bucks a piece. And then from the table, they pay 20%, so times 0.2. Plus uh, one ER visit. Okay, the ER is $100. One ambulance fee. That's another hundred dollars. The family also had the following pharmacy charges. Nine local generic drugs. Okay, so nine times ten for the local generics. Plus four local brand names. Four times twenty. And again, if you're not sure where I'm getting these numbers, they're straight from the table on 421. You've got to, you've got to go back and forth to it. Okay, so we had nine local generic, four brand name. Okay, six mail order generic. Six mail order at 25 bucks a piece. Plus two mail order brand name. Mail order brand name are uh, fifty dollars a piece, and there was a hospital charge of nine thousand two sixty. So plus nine thousand two sixty times the rate at which they must pay it, which is ten percent. Point one. When you work that out, you should come up with five thousand five hundred. 86. Now, if you're having trouble coming up with the answer, my guess is it's plugging it into your calculator. That's an awful lot to plug in at one time. Break it down into each, each section and figure out what all those are, and then just simply add them up. Okay? Don't try to add and multiply all at the same time if you're having trouble. If you're not, go for it. But, uh, Break it down if need be. Okay, here's the assignment. Lesson 11.2, page 421, 1 through 15 and 19. Get busy.